Sometimes the simplest of things can give rise to the most intricate of patterns. Today we're going to look at such a pattern that rises from one of the most basic things we've learned in school, the times table. So let's have a look at what we can do with the times table of 2. Basically the concept is you start with a circle, you divide it into let's say 10 divisions. So we label each point starting from 0 up to 9. And what we will do now is that we will connect each point with some other point. So let's start with point number 1. We'll connect it with point number 1 into 2 because this is the times table of 2. So we'll connect 0 with 0, 1 with 2, 2 with 4, 3 with 6, 4 with 8, and 5 with 10. But hey, there isn't any point number 10 in this circle. Well, technically there is. The point coming after point number 9 can also be considered as point number 10. So 0 isn't exclusively point number 0, it's also point number 10. So in this way we can count up to point number 11, 12, 13, and so on. So with this in mind, we connect every point starting from 0 up to 9 with its respective point. So what we get is this. But hey, where is the pattern business we're after? Well remember on the start we took 10 divisions? What would happen if we took more divisions? For example, 200 divisions. Well, see for yourself. Amazing, isn't it? Who could have thought that such an awesome pattern is hidden within the times table of 2? And of course, there isn't anything unique for 2. You'll find new patterns for times table of all the numbers. Speaking of all the numbers, you can actually find a pattern for times table of fractional numbers. So in case of times table of 2.5, for points like point number 3, which has to be connected with point number 3 into 2.5, which is point number 7.5, the point 7.5 can actually be found in the middle of the point number 7 and point number 8. So in this way, you can have a pattern for a times table of fractional numbers as well. Now comes the most beautiful part. When you play all the patterns starting from times table of 0 up to the times table of higher numbers, you get something mind-blowing. To conclude this short video, I've made this awesome animation. And since I plan to end this video with this animation, it would be nice if you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet for more such videos. And now, fasten your mathematical seatbelts and enjoy the ride.